about is doing some weird magic stuff right there. Um... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back with Singing Simulator. It's been a while, but the game has been released on Steam. It's been on Steam for a little while now, and we are going to check out what has been added to the game, and we're going to sing some ships. So yeah, guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so we have the SS Packmaster here, and basically this is kind of a nod to one of the creators of the game, or the main creator of the game. And yeah, so this is a very nicely detailed ship. And there are actually some cool features to this game um, that include like basically a base model of the ship and then you can apply a texture to it so you can get like an outside texture and then an interior texture like this so before we check out that we're gonna go ahead and sync this ship now there is sound there's music but there's no like uh, creaking of the ship and uh, cracking noises when the ship breaks in half all right, so the SS Packmaster here is sinking by the head or by the bow, and the water is uh, flooding in pretty easily because of the uh, damage in the ship. And as you can see, it is uh, it is definitely going down. So it looks like the water is flooding into the pool here, and it is uh, oh yeah, it's plunging. There we go. It is definitely going down now. So the SS Packmaster is going down quite quickly now. So let's go ahead and try to break the ship in half here uh, looks like it's not working too well oh we are getting some stress fractures and there we go the ship has broken in half and the forward funnel has just collapsed onto itself the bow is doing some weird magic stuff right there um all right just gonna ignore that but the uh, stern is sitting here as you can see the stern is quickly flooding now the water has made its way to the upper decks where the separation is and it is dragging the ship down. There's nothing more to it at this point. The SS Packmaster is a total loss. All right, so this is the Titanic, and this is the Titanic without the textures or without the, um, you know, the detailing and stuff. Now, this is, uh, it's very nicely detailed with walls and stuff like that, so it allows water to flood through at a realistic, you know, rate. And uh, we're gonna take a look at what it's like when you put a texture onto this. Now, to put a texture onto the actual ship, you just drag it from the file onto the ship here. And just like that, you have the Titanic. Now, we don't really just wanna see the outside of the ship, we wanna see the inside, and there's a texture for that as well. And there it is, there is the interior texture, and this is really nicely detailed. You can see you've got little pieces of cargo, you've got the coal bunkers, You've got all of this detail, including the squash court, the mail room, the forward compartment. You've got the reception room and the dining room, and it's so detailed. It's really nice. So let's go ahead and sink the Titanic as we usually do. So we're just going to puncture some holes into the side of the ship, let the water flood on in. And there we go. One more into the coal bunker, and the ship is now going down. All right, it looks like the ship is taking a heavy bow down list. Now you can see the mail room is starting to flood already and uh, all the cargo spaces are pretty much gone at this point. And boiler room six is completely flooded and I don't know if it's actually gonna spill over the top of this bulkhead. We're gonna have to see. So the water is making its way to the top of the bulkhead and it looks like it's not going to flood over. So it's gotta like come down from the uh, ceiling or something but we'll have to see what happens there. Looks like we've got the propellers coming out of the water already now, and um, for Titanic, this is not very good. All right, it looks like the water has made its way up to F deck in the bow, and it's actually made its way onto E deck, or actually, no, it's on F deck still. It's, uh, it's still on F deck, it's making its way up to E deck. It'll make its way up to E deck eventually, but back here we've got the F deck area already flooding. The pool is dry, surprisingly, and uh, it looks like water is starting to actually spill onto E deck now. And what's interesting is you're actually seeing the water spill up onto F deck, onto E deck, from E deck, spill down back onto F deck. And that actually happened in real life on the ship, which is interesting to see it happening here. No water has entered Boiler Room 5 yet, so Boiler Room 5 is safe and dry for now. It looks like the water is now making its way into the pool. As you can see, it's spilling over into the E-deck cabins and from there onto the uh, onto the pool area. So it's uh, it's getting worse. 
Looks like the pool is a little, uh, a little overfilled there. It's kind of overflowing. And you can see where the water is coming in. It's actually entering from a cabin down into this space here and into the pool. And it looks like the forward sections are also flooding. And I don't know why this is completely empty right now. It's uh, surprising. If we put the exterior texture on the ship, you can see how much anti-fouling is out of the water. Or the red portion of the ship is out of the water. And you can see the propellers are slowly making their way out of the water. And what's neat is that when the ship kind of bobs up and down, that's actually a result of water flooding into different rooms in the ship. So you can see how much... It's actually changing the way the ship moves. All right, I put the interior texture back on the Titanic here and you can see the pool is pretty much completely flooded at this point and it is definitely going down. All right, it looks like the squash court is now flooding and the water has actually made its way up onto the E-deck area over here. So it looks like the water's made its way onto the E-deck area over here and it's actually flooding down into the squash court. And it's also flooding into one of the uh, cargo hatches here as well. So uh, the ship is uh, slowly but surely going down. Looks like Boiler Room 5 is now starting to flood. The water has flooded through E-deck, down to F-deck, and then back down into the Boiler Room. And uh, yeah, things are starting to accelerate here. Looks like water is now breaching onto D-deck. And you can see it is just cascading down at this point. The ship is doomed. It's about to plunge. Water has now made its way into the Grand Staircase area, or the F-Deck Grand Staircase space here. So it's making its way into public rooms, but look at how far the ship has gone down to allow for that to happen. The bow is almost completely gone, and this is where passengers are starting to see water. And what's neat is that the water isn't actually flooding from F-Deck up. It's actually flooding from E-Deck down. And that's a recurring trend we're seeing here. All right, it looks like the ship is starting to plunge because you can see how fast it's going now. Sea Deck is now flooding. It's going under quick. Titanic doesn't have much time left. Now with this interior texture, you can really just see how much of the ship is actually flooded to allow for this to happen. The water is already on to the B Deck area and it's making its way to A Deck at this stage. The stern is now clear out of the water. You can see that there's a space between the ship itself and the water now. You can see the water cascading down now through the elevator shaft, down onto F deck, and then into boiler room 4. Things are going really quick now. The boat deck is completely awash and it's making its way up to the grand staircase at this point. Just for realism, I am going to collapse the forward funnel here. So there we go. The forward funnel has collapsed be it kind of awkwardly but there you go i'm also going to make a small cut in the dome there and you can see the water now cascades through the opening where the dome was now uh, the ship is uh is going down very quickly looks like the ship is going 1997 sinking so i might as well just uh break the ship so you can see the double bottom has failed there and there we go the ship has broken in half the stern collapses downwards and the bow continues to sink. So there you go. Now, something really interesting to note, when we were separating the keel, just breaking it, the compression force actually caused the keel to separate right here, both in the bow area and the stern area. And based off research and also exploration of the wreck site, there is a piece of keel that's separated like that, and it's on the bottom upside down. There we go, the bow has just collided with the bottom of the ocean, the mast has separated, and I'm guessing that the ship is just going to break apart when it hits here. And it's about to strike bottom again, there we go. A lot of cracks just formed in the uh, side of the ship, and they're all collapsing. There we go. As you can see, the reciprocating engine room is now going under, and I believe that's what's going to do it. I think that's what's going to pull the stern down. You can see the stern is now mostly underwater at this stage. Just the fan tail is left along with some portions of the superstructure. There's so much of the stern flooded at this stage that the air pockets up here are not going to be able to hold up the ship. They're just going to implode and pretty much destroy themselves as it goes down. Unfortunately for this game, we don't have that type of destruction physics. The docking bridge is now gone, and the only thing left is the very, very end of the fantail of the ship. This is really neat. You can see that the uh, air vents here actually 
flooding. And they're flooding into the ship. That's neat. Titanic once again slips under the waves. For probably the 50th time now that we've done this. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time guys. Goodbye!